In an era where ambition knows no bounds, China stands as a testament to its engineering prowess, bringing to life awe-inspiring megaprojects that defy the limits of imagination. From ancient trade routes reborn to stadiums that blend sports and entertainment, this nation is pushing the boundaries of what's possible, leaving an indelible mark on the world stage. As we delve into the heart of 2024, China's relentless pursuit of innovation continues to captivate the world. With each project, the country showcases its unwavering commitment to shaping the future, one groundbreaking endeavor at a time. The Belt and Road Initiative, a visionary plan spearheaded by President Xi Jinping in 2013, is more than just a revival of the ancient Silk Road trade routes. It is a colossal undertaking that seeks to reshape the global economic landscape. Spanning multiple continents, this ambitious initiative aims to foster connectivity, cooperation, and shared prosperity among nations through a network of infrastructure projects, trade agreements, and cultural exchanges. At its core, the Belt and Road Initiative represents China's aspiration to play a pivotal role in the global economy, leveraging its economic might and engineering prowess to create a new era of interconnectedness. The initiative's main components, the Silk Road Economic Belt and the 21st Century Maritime Silk Road, encompass a vast array of projects including highways, railways, ports, pipelines, and power plants, spanning across Asia, Europe, Africa, and beyond. The sheer scale of this endeavor is staggering, with an estimated investment of $1.3 trillion by 2027. However, the initiative's impact extends far beyond mere infrastructure development. It serves as a platform for promoting cultural understanding, facilitating knowledge exchange, and fostering economic cooperation among participating nations. By strengthening trade ties and facilitating the flow of goods, services, and ideas, the Belt and Road Initiative has the potential to unlock new opportunities for economic growth and prosperity on a global scale. Moreover, the initiative is a testament to China's unwavering commitment to sustainable development. With a focus on green and low-carbon technologies, the Belt and Road Initiative aims to promote environmentally friendly practices and foster a more sustainable future for all nations involved. From renewable energy projects to eco-friendly transportation solutions, China is leading the way in integrating environmental considerations into its global development agenda. As the Belt and Road Initiative continues to unfold, it faces challenges and criticism from various quarters, including concerns over debt sustainability, transparency, and potential geopolitical implications. However, China remains steadfast in its pursuit of this grand vision, viewing it as a catalyst for global economic integration, cultural exchange, and shared prosperity. In the heart of Guangzhou, a city renowned for its vibrant culture and stunning architecture, an extraordinary vision once took shape, the Guangzhou Evergrande Football Stadium. Conceived by the visionary architect Hassan Saadi, this colossal project aimed to redefine the boundaries of stadium design, creating a multifaceted destination that seamlessly blended sports, entertainment, and architectural grandeur. Inspired by the city's moniker as China's Flower City, the stadium's design drew inspiration from the majestic lotus flower, its petals unfolding to reveal a breathtaking structure that promised to captivate audiences from around the world. With an estimated cost of $1.7 billion and a staggering seating capacity of 100,000, this architectural marvel was poised to surpass even the iconic Camp Nou Stadium in Barcelona laying claim to the title of the world's largest top-level professional football stadium. Beyond its awe-inspiring design and sheer scale, the Guangzhou Evergrande Football Stadium aimed to redefine the spectator experience. Envisioned as a multifaceted destination, the stadium offered an unparalleled football experience with 160 exclusive VIP boxes, allowing spectators to soak in the electric atmosphere in unparalleled luxury. Furthermore, the project seamlessly integrated entertainment and leisure components, ensuring that visitors could indulge in a comprehensive array of experiences beyond the beautiful game. However, the stadium's fate took an unexpected turn when the Evergrande Group, the world's most indebted developer, found itself embroiled in financial turmoil. 
Despite construction being well underway, the group was forced to withdraw from the project in September 2021, leaving the future of this architectural wonder hanging in the balance. In a bid to salvage the project, the Chinese government stepped in, taking control of the stadium and exploring options to either sell it to a different company or transfer ownership to a state-owned entity. However, the depth of Evergrande's financial woes ultimately proved too great, and in a heartbreaking twist, the decision was made to terminate existing contracts and cancel the project entirely. While the Guangzhou Evergrande football stadium may never come to fruition, its ambitious vision and groundbreaking design will remain a testament to China's daring spirit and unwavering pursuit of architectural excellence. As the dust settles on this epic undertaking, the world can only wonder what other extraordinary visions lie in store for this nation of dreamers and builders. In a nation where water scarcity has long been a pressing concern, China has embarked on an engineering feat of unparalleled scale and ambition, the South North Water Transfer Project. Spanning multiple decades and traversing vast distances, this colossal undertaking aims to reshape the country's water landscape, diverting precious water resources from the water-rich South to the arid Northern regions. Conceived in the early days of the People's Republic of China, the idea of diverting water from the South to the North was first proposed by Mao Zedong himself in 1950. However, it wasn't until 2003 that this visionary plan truly took shape, with the official launch of the project and a staggering budget of over $79 billion. At the heart of this engineering marvel lies a meticulously planned network of three main routes the eastern, central, and western routes designed to connect China's four major rivers the Yangtze, Yellow River, Hai, and Huai He. Through this intricate system of canals, tunnels, and pipelines, an astonishing 44.8 billion cubic meters of water will flow annually by the year 2050, when the project is expected to reach completion. The sheer scale and complexity of the South North Water Transfer Project are truly mind-boggling. Stretching across a staggering 4,350 kilometers, this endeavor surpasses even the monumental Three Gorges Dam in terms of cost and scope. Its impact on the lives of over 500 million people cannot be overstated, as it promises to alleviate water shortages, support agricultural and industrial development, and foster economic growth in regions previously plagued by water scarcity. However, the project is not without its challenges and controversies. Environmental concerns, such as the potential disruption of ecosystems and the risk of water pollution, have been raised by experts and activists alike. Additionally, the relocation of millions of residents and the displacement of communities have sparked debates over the social and cultural implications of such a massive undertaking. Despite these concerns, China remains steadfast in its commitment to the South North Water Transfer Project, viewing it as a crucial step towards ensuring the nation's long-term water security and sustainable development. As construction continues across the three main routes, the world watches in awe, bearing witness to an engineering marvel that will undoubtedly shape the country's future for generations to come. In the vibrant Sichuan province, the Chongqing metro is weaving a tapestry of urban mobility, connecting communities and cultures through an intricate network of rail lines. Unveiled in December 2022, this urban rail line boasts an impressive 12 lines spanning 589.6 kilometers, seamlessly linked by 46 transfer stations. With three 73 operational stations, each one telling a unique story, the Chongqing Metro has evolved from its humble beginnings in 2005 into a labyrinth of transportation arteries. By the end of 2024, the system is poised to sprawl over 700 kilometers, solidifying its status as the fourth largest subway network in the world. Embracing cutting-edge technology, China is set to integrate artificial intelligence into the Chongqing Metro by 2025, paving the way for seamless operations and pioneering the use of AI maintenance robots, a groundbreaking development that propels the Metro into the realm of innovation. 
China's high-speed rail network is a testament to its commitment to efficient transportation infrastructure. The Chongqing Kunming High-Speed Rail Project, a billion-dollar endeavor, will pass through the breathtaking Three Gorges area, connecting major cities with unparalleled speed and convenience. Designed to handle bullet trains racing through the mountains at a staggering 350 kilometers per hour, this high-speed rail line will slash travel times from Chongqing to Beijing from 20 hours to a mere 7 hours. As part of China's extensive 40,000-kilometer high-speed rail network, this project exemplifies the nation's dedication to seamless mobility and economic connectivity. Off the southern coast of China, the Hainan International Tourism Island Project is transforming Hainan Island into a world-class tourism destination. Announced in 2010 and officially launched in 2011, this ambitious endeavor has garnered an estimated $50 billion in investment, overseen by the Hainan provincial government and various international companies. While Hainan has long been a popular domestic tourist spot, this project aims to attract a global audience. With the expansion of the Heiko O. Meilan International Airport and the development of new tourism infrastructure, the island is poised to welcome 100 million visitors by 2025, up from over 70 million in 2019. As the project nears its expected completion in 2025, Hainan Island is rapidly becoming a beacon of tourism excellence, showcasing China's commitment to diversifying its economy and fostering sustainable growth. As China continues to push the boundaries of what's possible, these awe-inspiring megaprojects stand as a testament to the nation's unwavering determination and engineering ingenuity. From reviving ancient trade routes to redefining the boundaries of stadium design, reshaping water landscapes, and weaving intricate urban rail networks, each endeavor showcases China's ambition to shape the future, one groundbreaking project at a time. Whether it's the Belt and Road Initiative, the Guangzhou Evergrande Football Stadium, the South North Water Transfer Project, the Chongqing Metro, the Chongqing Kunming High Speed Rail Project, or the Hainan International Tourism Island Project, these mega projects are more than just ambitious undertakings. They are symbols of China's commitment to innovation, progress, and a better tomorrow for its people and the world. As the construction sites continue to buzz with activity, the world watches in anticipation, eager to witness the completion of these engineering marvels that will undoubtedly leave an indelible mark on the global landscape, solidifying China's position as a leader in shaping the future through audacious visions and groundbreaking executions.